up, Letty Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Anime Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Yokai Apartment no Yuga no Nijin Chao Season 1 Episode 1 and um, I've been looking forward to this anime because I really, really love the manga. I know it's adapted by a light novel, or that's what it said on the live chart, but I really hope that they use a lot of the stuff in the manga because the manga is really good and plus I couldn't find the light novel. Anyway, let's get to this. So um, we're starting off in chapter one. I like the narration we get at the beginning about not knowing about the yokai. Um, there, and um, there's a few things skipped here. Uh, there's uh, the kid saying, sorry, take care everyone. What? Um, Oh, <laughs> the fight between uh, Heiss and, um, and Inaba is so well done. I like this animation. It's really making me think of Natsume, Natsume Yujin Shao, um, but, but unlike Natsume, Natsume Yujin Shao, which it had all the narration, this doesn't have all the narration, and the problem with this is that you, unless you read the synopsis, you wouldn't understand, like, the full story. Anyway, um, before that, there was a line skipped at the end of the scene with Heist and, uh, Inaba, which was, it's because I want to quickly head out into the world, and at that time you'll become my kohai. Um, I don't understand what is going on with anime this season. Kagaguri's doing it, Knights of Magic did it, I tried Knights of Magic, I, I really did, I just couldn't. Um, and, uh, Fate Apophrica did it as well. And by the way, I'm reading the light novel for that, so I'm, I'm going to be more prepared this next week. Um, I don't understand what is it with just, like, cutting out a good, good chunks of the lore. Like, it, do these people think it's okay? Like, do these anime studios think that, like, um, the viewers have watched or read the, uh, uh, light novel or the uh, manga like I have to ask because this is what was skipped from the narration um in the spring of my first year of middle school my parents died it was a traffic a accident after that it became your typical story I came into custody of my aunt and uncle in the house of a mediocre uh, salary man without any inheritance uh, for my aunt and uncle I was nothing but a burden Again, this it reminds me not to be Jin Chow, especially the getting of it. Um, in the house of, uh, here we go. And that's not all. My cousin, um, who, older than me by a year, quickly adapted my presence. She was strict beyond my expectations. And the reason why this is important is, um, and hopefully, um, we get to see a little bit of the char uh, a bit of her character, is because she ends up being kind of an important character later on in the manga. She, like, in the most recent portion of the manga, she, she came back, so... Um, yeah, uh, she was, uh, and then today, after three years, my heart's desire, I got into this business school and decided to move into the dorms, but I do like that they're actually showing the news story, I, I do, it, I was worried they weren't gonna do that, because that's kind of important, because that's gonna determine where, uh, determine, uh, that he's going to move into the yokai apartments. Now let's get to this opening song, and I already am liking the music, it's so cute, and I like how the little, little spirit, or the little yokai, uh, goes to the, um, to the title, I fucking love it. There's the birds, the birds are there, they're so cute. <laughs> the residents of the house, oh my god, they have them all, they're, they're, I got a feeling this is going to be this season's Natsume Yujin Shao. If it's done right, this could be this season's Natsume Yujin Shao. I swear to God. This is, I'm already liking this. I, I like this opening. Everyone's there. This is making me so happy. And they have the meow face of the author. Of the author. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my God. This opening is really, really good. I, I, the music opening, the best way to describe it, is it's very light-hearted, and I fucking love it. Oh my god, they showed the book, and they showed, um, Fool! Oh my god! Oh my god, we're gonna get to that part in the manga! Oh my god, I'm really excited, because I mentioned in my, um, watch list video that I was hoping we were gonna get to this part in the manga, and get to see the magic book, uh, or the grimoire, and, um, and, uh, and Fool, and we are! Oh my god, we're gonna see Fool! And Fool already looks, the book looks really good animated, and so does Fool. Fool looks so fucking good! Oh my god, this manga is, this, this anime is making me really, really happy. 
happy right now. You have no idea. Just the, from the opening song, I know this anime is going to make me extremely happy. They're showing the characters in the book. Oh my god, they look so good. Anime, you cannot let me down right now. You better not fuck this shit up. I am saying you are going to be the next Natsume Yin Chao, and that is saying a lot, because Natsume and Jin Chao is really, a really good anime. Um, all the seasons are really, really good. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta calm down. I am so excited. They even showed the death card! Which is fucking adorable! Yes, that, that little Grim Reaper is one of the cards in the deck. They showed all of them and they look perfect! Oh my god! Anime, when we get to this part in the manga, please do not fuck it up! So now we are at the title card, which uh, today's episode is going to be titled First Haunting Yushi and uh, Kotobuki Su. Oh man. Um, I'm fucking hyped as hell. I hope they- uh, I, oh man, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see the apartment, in, you know, the apartment in motion. Cause like, or beside, outside the opening. Cause the opening, it looks really good, but we have been deceived before, like with Berserk. So I'm hoping we don't get deceived this time. So we're not gonna hear from the aunt, the uncle, or the cousin, which really is ticking me off. So this is what was skipped. Um, com uh... Yushi says, um, completely destroyed? What? We're building the whole- Uncle says, we're building the whole thing. We'll take half, uh, half a year and then we'll contact you. Auntie says, well, that's too bad. It's a good thing you didn't get wrapped up in that. Like, fuck you! <laughs> ha! But, uh, Yushi says, but in that case, I'm moving. Now, and the cousin's like, now, what are you going to do? What are you? Um, it can't be helped. Commuting from home? That's right. Slam. No, I somehow- uh, no, I- somehow I'll do something. Uh, let's see. Okay, take it back. They, um, they, okay, I don't like how they did this. I'm sorry, anime. I know you switched the scenes around, but, I, and sometimes it works. This doesn't work for me. You should have just finished the fucking scene before the opening. If you would have finished the goddamn scene before the opening, that'd be nice. Um, but at least we're getting the content with uncle, with the uncle and aunt, so at least there's that. So it was almost all there. Um, the only thing was that was skipped. Uh, there was a little bit of Eriko stuff that was skipped, aka the cousin, but, um, there, uh, it was when, um, uh, Yushi was basically saying, I'm gonna move no matter what, but he said, uh, he, and then he says, I'll, I'll take care of it somehow, but whatever. So there was a couple of things skipped in this little, um, inner monologue here, which was a student, a minor, no parents, and no money. Um, that part was there, um, and the part after Heights was, um, uh, was, was skipped too, which was, it can't be that it, it has um, become like this. In the end, I am a powerless child, caught in the flow of the surrounding flowers, helpless. Son of a bitch! Uh, he said that out loud. But we get to see the bouncing ball! Oh my god, here she comes! Oh my god, Here here's the first yokai. This part was skipped from the spirit, is, um, uh, you want to rent a room, don't you? I know of a good place. That part was skipped. And this is Medea, uh, Medea Realty. Yep. Yes, it's Medea. Tyler Perry's behind this shit. <laughs> oh, it's me. Oh, sorry. Meta Re Re Real uh, Realty. I read it wrong. I'm sorry. I I thought it was Medea for a second. <laughs> Tyler Perry rented a yokai apartment complex, I guess. <laughs> This part was skipped right here from, um, the old man, which was, hmm, you're living alone and you're having, uh, troubles? And, uh, um, Yushi's like, yes. Or he's like this, like, yes. And Yushi's in a monologue is skipped again. Um, uh, but wait, aren't these, uh, conditions too good? And something that it says in the manga, um, that it's a two-sized, uh, tatami, um, uh, wood floor, um, and a six- to Tommy sized uh, Japanese room south facing and what it says in the manga that one tatami mat equals uh, three by six so it should be um, oh, that's a good. it should be uh, six by twelve and that but that's feet that's not meters so well, the old guy, after, you know, after Yushi says, by any chance is something shady about this place, he says, actually, yes. And, uh, he, and Yushi's like, I thought so. Um, but it says here, 
In the manga, it says it will appear instead of there are ghosts, which I'm like, okay. But then it goes on to say ghosts appear. Is that so? So I, 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 I'm fine with the, I'm fine with the word change here. The, the word change here is okay. It's actually more appropriate. So this part was skipped too. Um, uh, ghosts appear. Is that so? Is that true? I wonder. I don't really know. That's right. Well, let's do this. So that part was kind of, that was skipped a little bit. This part was skipped from the dialogue too, which was, um, there's no deposit because of this, but like minus those things that are, um, being skipped, it real and actually Natsumi Yujin Chao kind of did that too, especially, uh, Roku, which is the one I reviewed, did it a little bit where it was skipping little bits of dialogue here and there, but, um, and fuck, it did skip narration at some times, but the problem is, is that it did it in the first episode, of, for example, of, uh, Natsumi Yujin Chao Roku, it had all the narration in there, which I wish this one did. I wish it had all the narration in here. That's, like, I think my main complaint is that all the narration is in here. I can leave the house, uh, that house is skipped, and I have to wonder, I, I can't stand when anime does this. You gotta make up your fucking mind. Are you doing inner monologues or not? Like, seriously. Kotobuki looks so good. But the old man said, um, uh, it's really modern, isn't it? Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Um, so this part was skipped too, um, which was, this is everything? It's too bad they're busy. I have to apologize to your uncle. Ah, uh, no, it's no problem. It's okay. That house is... In the end, Iriko didn't come out, uh, didn't come out. Like, I, I'm sad that they didn't show that either. Like, because, again, Iriko's character is going to develop. Um, let's see. It's Ishiki! Oh my god! Ishiki! You look so cute! I love how Ishiki looks exactly like he does in the manga. It's so perfect! With the smile on his face, he's so adorable! Oh my god! Like, in a way, uh, the best way to describe Ashiki is he, he totally reminds me of, of, um, of Kenshin in a way. Just like his mannerisms really make me think of Kenshin. <laughs> I don't know why, he just does. Uh, this part was skipped. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, um, uh, Mayday-san. It really has Ashiki-san, yes. Oh my god, this is so good! So before I get to Akeen, it was so perfect, which is, um, that's great, Inubukan. Uh, yes, please take care of me. Um, I don't know why they didn't show that. That would have been nice, but yay, we get to see, see Akeen. I love her. And this manga, Akeen, is awesome. So I, I, I can't believe that I'm seeing her animated right now. <laughs> narration! I take back what I said! This is the best fucking anime right now! Oh my god, we have it! I actually kind of like where they put this, but at the same time, I wish it was where it was, like, where it was in the manga, because it made, it flowed a lot better, but at least they're mentioning it! At least the content is here! Oh my god, this is, this is fucking amazing! This is the best anime I've watched so far this season! It's all here. Everything that I said that I thought was skipped in the beginning is all here. Anime, I take back what I said earlier. This this episode is really, really good. This is like just about perfect. This, I'm telling you, this is the new Natsume Yinshao. It really is. This is the new Natsume Yinshao. So this part was skipped um, narration-wise, which was... Um, uh, Somehow this feeling resembles that of when I'm with haste. Um, in uh, this atmosphere, I can say anything. I pour tea. That's Sakura Mo Mochi with this girl here. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're going to beat the yokai this episode. Yee! So this part was skipped. Um, first of all, Akin uh, was supposed to say, you eat downstairs in the dining hall. Ah, yes. And, and in her monologue, I see this is where the meals are, I guess. I wonder what kind of... I really wish we would have gotten to see the footprints. That would have been really, really creepy. And he says, footprints? And what's that? Is uh, someone there? <gasps> no! We're not going to see them! No! We're not going to see them! I just realized it as I'm looking at this. We're not going to see the yokai playing mahjong. What? That's not fair. Playing mahjong? 
Since when were they there? The heat also isn't on. Um. Oh man, I forgot! You cannot read this manga or and even watch this anime on an empty stomach. Oh my god, I am starving! I wish Rory Gog would cook for me! I love... Like, this is just the, the start of Ruiko's cooking. Ruiko is amazing. And I bet she and Thing would get along, too. We got to see Ruiko's hands! Um, or Ruiko, because that's all she is, is her hands. And wash the dishes! It looks better than it did in the manga, I will tell you that. They're showing the Mahjong players! Thank you! I was scared that you weren't going to show them at all! Hence, this is why it's a live reaction. You get to see my little errors and shit. <laughs> but, oh my god, they are- Oh, they're showing the Mahjong players, thank you! This is going- I gotta feel like this is gonna be my favorite anime of the season. This is gonna be my favorite. First, this was skipped. Which was, um... Uh... Return to the- Um, maybe I should return to the dining hall for a look. Under the circumstances, going alone is a little- no, until a while ago, they were here. To that extent, so many. Um, and the stuff with the Mahjong there is there. Um, hold on a second. The underground bath is perfect! It looks so good! I'm gonna go take a dip in that hot spring. This part was skipped. Uh, um... Didn't Maidasan tell you, uh, they appear? Like, this would have been, like, the perfect spot, because they did a little bit of fl uh, flashback to when he said, um, uh, there are ghosts here. Um, I wish they would have had that here instead. It would have been a lot better. For me, anyway. Ayasan, you look so good! I gave the landlord, he looks so perfect right here! I, I like that we saw the nightmare. The nightmare was not in the manga, but I really like it. <laughs> I love it! I love it! It was so good! It's the birds! It's the Twitter birds! I'm telling you, they, they're they making me think of Twitter! <laughs> they're making me think of Twitter right now! But, this is- they're so cute! I want a little plushie of them! They're adorable! I have one problem with the spirit that was following Akin-san. He was supposed to be headless, and in this anime, he ain't headless! What the fuck, man? He's supposed to be a motherfucking headless yokai. But the rest of it is, uh, to s is, is looks correct. It's just that he ain't headless, goddammit! Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, I take it back here. The, the, this is, the zombie looks, this evil spirit looks completely wrong. Okay, in the manga, he's wearing a flower printed button-up shirt with blood on it. This ain't the button I'm sure you were wearing! Come on, anime! Were you guys too lazy to, like, make flowers and shit and put blood on it? And I'm really curious why he isn't headless. Is this just censoring or, or what? Because this ain't a kid's anime. This just ain't. So we have a little bit more inner monologue skip, which was, um... Uh, no way, she's not scared or moving. And also before, uh, the spirit showed up, um... Akeen said, was supposed to say, I'm so hungry, let's hurry and eat breakfast. I'm telling you, Akeen is a goddamn saiyan. She eats like a mofo. Um, let's see. Oh! Oh, the, oh, when she exercised that spirit, it was beautiful. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh man, this, I'm telling you, I, if I didn't say this already, I'm gonna say it now. This manga is coming to life. And it's really, really Beautiful. It's just making me think of Natsumi Ujinchao. Like, this is totally the next y Natsumi Ujinchao. I said it in my watch list video, I said it earlier, this is definitely the next Natsumi Ujinchao. Okay, I gotta say this because this pissed me off at Sugamomo. Sugamomo! If this anime can say exorcist, why can't you? You said Malice and Cleanser, which is not right, they were exorcists. <laughs> why couldn't you do what this anime is doing, Sugamomo? God damn it. This episode, the ending, was perfect. I really, the narration was there, I really liked it. But this part was, um, was skipped for the most part. This is his first step where he walked in on an outrageous place. And I like that it only adapted chapter one. I, again, this is, to me, is gonna be like Natsume Jinchao, 
where, and especially in Roku, where they mainly just did one chapter at a time. So I got a feeling that's going to be the case with this anime, and I got a feeling this is going to be my favorite anime this season because uh, because the animation's good, the music's good, the content is there, um, and it did some tricks like Natsumi Yujin Chao did. So I'm really stoked for this anime. I fucking love it. Uh, everyone say Kakaguri is their favorite. Fuck Kakaguri! Like they didn't have the lore like this did. This is by far this is my favorite so far. But we'll see. After um, I do quite a uso, if uh, it stays that way. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of what you guys thought about this anime. Um, are, do you guys agree with me that this is uh, this is this season's Natsumi Yujin Chao, or does this remind you of any other anime or manga? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel, find me on PlayStation Network. All that is in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.